Hey everyone, welcome back to The Road to Superman. This is episode 38, and today we have a huge video for you all. In the latest set photos and videos, Superman is taking on two big villains, and a new piece of information pretty much confirmed the appearance of the Justice League. So this is a very exciting video. And we start with the news that Superman will be filming at the Union Terminal in Cincinnati on July 18th. Now, we all know what that building looks like. It's the Hall of Justice. They are actually including the Hall of Justice and using a building that looks just like it. And why does it look just like the Hall of Justice? Well, because this is the real building that the Justice League's headquarters were inspired by. So it is very appropriate for Gunn to use it as the actual headquarters for the League. So this basically means that the Justice League exists in some form, whether that be in the very early stages or fully existing, or maybe it could be owned by Lord Tech at this point, and this is actually the headquarters for the Justice League International, which includes Mr. Terrific, Guy Gardner, and Hawk Girl. Maybe later down the line, after his group disbands or rebrands, becomes the Hall of Justice. Who knows? But what we do know is that they will be filming scenes at this location on July 18th. Now let me know your theories on what they may be filming there in the comments below. Now if you think my voice sounds a little off, that's because it does. Last night was the Euros final, so I was yelling, then celebrating, and then once again yelling. And after that, I was depressed for the rest of the night. So that is why I sound like this. But anyway, on with the episode. On July 11th, James Gunn acknowledged the fact that it was now only a year until Superman releases in theatres, and shared this new photo of the Superman emblem. Now the blue background and the gold and red emblem will most likely be appearing on many future posters and promotional material that DC Studios brings out for this movie. And it is also going on the Superman merchandise. At San Diego Comic Con this year, Superman merchandise will be sold and this is the beginning of so much merch being dropped. I cannot wait to see what we get for this movie, and hopefully I will be able to pick up a few things before the movie releases. It would be great to go watch the film in my local cinema with some of this Superman merch on. But now onto the next piece of news, and I would have made a video on these photos and videos as soon as they released, but over the weekend I went camping, so from Friday to Sunday I have been away from my computer and also my phone for a lot of it. It was a very nice trip and was nice to get back to nature and away from technology, but it turned Turns out a lot of cool fight scenes were taking place whilst I was away. And so now I am back, so let's talk about them. And I want to reiterate that Gunn has said that he wouldn't film any major spoilers outside for everyone to see, so they shouldn't ruin the movie, but this is where we enter spoiler territory, so as always, if you don't want to see them, this is where you should end the video, as the rest of the episode is dedicated to these spoilers. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next episode. But now on with the spoilers and we start with the characters walking out onto the field getting ready for their scenes. We see the engineer, Mr. Terrific and then Superman. But the mystery villain also turns up. We see Superman and the man in black, who I think is Ultraman, hovering in the air above the Lord Tech field. And they go into a position where Ultraman is holding Superman and is getting ready to fly him into the ground and drag him along it. So this does confirm that the man in black can fly, meaning his powers are even more similar to Superman's. But then the footage cuts to the engineer doing the same thing to Mr. Terrific. And here we have a video from a different angle of the same stunt. So it looks like it is Superman and Mr. Terrific versus the engineer and Ultraman. And I feel like for some reason that the engineer may be a villain at this point in time in the movie, but will have some moment of redemption which makes her a hero. Maybe be possibly turning on Ultraman when she realized he and the government are in the wrong and Superman is actually a good person. We have seen many times in movies like these where a character thinks they are on the right side based on what that side has been telling them, but then as time goes on and they find out that side's true intentions, they realize they were on the wrong side and that they now need to help the hero. It's a very common plot point and for a character like the engineer, I feel like she will become some form of hero by the end of the movie. But currently, she is against our heroes, and in this short clip, we can see the engineer also taking on Superman. Now, remember that on the first day of filming, Superman and the engineer were in I 
Iceland filming some scenes for the Fortress of Solitude. And I wonder if that takes place before or after these fight scenes. Maybe the engineer is able to track Superman down and this helps Lex Luthor or the government create the Superman clone. Or maybe Superman takes the engineer to the Fortress of Solitude after she gets injured in battle helping him. Or maybe as she knows where it is, she has to help take Superman there after he is injured. Let me know your theories on that in the comments below. Two people dressed as Superman have been spotted on the set, and some fans have been theorizing as to who the other person in the costume is. No, this is not Ultraman, but just David's stunt double, who will be performing the more dangerous stunts that David is unable to do. And we also see an epic face-off between Superman and Ultraman, who are running towards one another, and these two seem to be most similar in strength. And if my theory is correct, then that is because this is a Superman clone created by Lex Luthor to take down Superman. And later on in the movie, we see his clone pretend to be Superman, whilst the real Man of Steel is locked up in a Red Sun prison or something like that. So I think this fight is going to be very even until Mr. Terrific is unable to continue continue fighting, because from these photos here, we can see Superman taking on both villains, and we fortunately have a video of this scene as well, where Superman is flying and spinning to try and punch Ultraman. So we're seeing some very dynamic and unique fighting styles on show. As I just mentioned, it appears that at some point, Mr. Terrific is unable to continue, as Superman is having to take on both of them at the same time. And this is where he struggles, as we can see them circling him whilst he staggers around trying to stand up. Clearly he has taken some hits and he cannot take on both of them at once right now, and so he decides the best thing he can try and do is to fly off. Now let's try and piece together the photos and videos we have had so far to try and work out how this scene goes. Maybe the fight starts outside the Daily Planet, and then Superman is hit down into the ground and creates that crater and realizes he is surrounded by civilians and knows he needs to get it away from there and so he tries to move the fight to the Lord Tech field, which is empty. We see the fight continue there before Superman tries to fly off, but he doesn't fly very far before collapsing back to Earth. That is when we see this scene here of Superman on the ground with Rick Flagg Sr., the Engineer, and Ultraman arresting Superman. And I think that makes the most sense. However this scene goes, we know that this fight goes all around Metropolis and ends in Superman losing and getting arrested. Which sounds like a bit of a major spoiler, but we still don't know why this scene happens, what actually happens within it, and what happens after it. Sure we have theories based on what we can see, but we could be extremely wrong. Which has happened many times before, and you never know, Gunn may have filmed some scenes in public that aren't actually in the movie to throw us off the scent. Some filmmakers do that when they know that everyone will see what they are filming, so it could be that as well. Point being, whilst it may seem like we know a lot from this, chances are we really don't. A lot will be added or changed in post, and the majority of filming has taken place behind closed doors, so we really don't know much at all, which is great, and hopefully the trailers keep it that way. But that is all for today's episode of The Road to Superman. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an episode. I hope to see you here again soon, so until then, have a great day. Bye!